वेलकम बैक डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन योर साइंस क्लास टिल नाउ वी हैव कंप्लीटेड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट एडवांटेजेस ऑफ सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स फर्स्ट स्ट्रेंथ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स इज देयर स्ट्रेंथ सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स कैन रेजिस्ट अ लॉट ऑफ फोर्स विदाउट ब्रेकिंग as compared to natural fibers so we can say synthetic fibers have high tensile strength second elasticity synthetic fibers are highly elastic and can be stretched to some extent on releasing they retain their original shape this is why synthetic materials like nylon are used to make socks third water absorption synthetic fibers absorb very little water due to this property synthetic clothes dry very fast synthetic fibers are said to possess drip dry property this means fabric become dry without forming creases when hung up after washing fourth abrasion resistant most of the synthetic fibers have high abrasion that is wear and tear resistance so clothes made up of synthetic fibers are long lasting or durable now last less expensive synthetic fibers are less expensive than natural fibers now let's begin with disadvantages of synthetic fibers first synthetic fibers melt before burning and form small sticky bits as a result they stick to the body and cause severe burns injuries therefore synthetic clothes should not be worn while working in the kitchen second synthetic fibers do not get decomposed like natural fibers if the products made up of synthetic fibers are not disposed of properly they can cause water and soil pollution third synthetic fibers do not absorb sweat so the synthetic fabric sticks to the body when the body sweats and makes the wearer uncomfortable fourth synthetic fibers may cause some skin diseases like eczema in some people 